Here's problem number 19 on the 2014 released Geometry SOL. It says Ruben attached a wire between two poles on a hill as shown. And basically wants us to find X here, which is closest to X, the distance between the two poles. So we wonder how far apart that is. Now, common sense before we even start this problem, if that's 20 degrees, it's not much of an opening. So here with the little slant is 80. So this is going to be sort of close to 80. Right away, I can look at A, which says 27. There's no way it's 27 nor 29. I'm going to guess 75. We'll work the problem and see. But it's going to sort of be close to 80 because that's just a bare, just a little opening. 20 degrees isn't much of an opening. So this length here is going to be pretty close to that 80. But let's see what happens here. Well, when we look at this, they give us an angle. It's a right triangle. The first thing I think of with a right triangle is I think of the Pythagorean theorem. But hey, it doesn't give me but one side. It gives me an angle. That's when I know I'm going to have to use the thing that we've been taught of some old hippie called another hippie tripping on acid. So this helps us remember sine, cosine, tangent. Uh, well, opposite over hypotenuse. Well, let's see what we have. If I have 20 degrees, this piece right here is my adjacent side, and this right here across from the right angle is your hypotenuse. So adjacent hypotenuse we know is the cosine. Cosine is adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So we're going to do the cosine of this angle. So we got the cosine of the angle, cosine of 20 degrees, I put it over 1, equals the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. Well, the adjacent measurement we don't know, so we put x. Over the hypotenuse, they gave us as 80. Now I simply cross multiply. x times 1 is x, will be approximately 80 times the cosine of 20. When I do that, guess what I get? 75, which is choice D. As soon as you see a right triangle, think Pythagorean theorem, but if you only have one side and you have an angle, that's telling you you got to go to these trigonometry functions of sine, cosine, and tangent to help you figure out the answer. There's problem number 19 for you.